What's up, comic book peeps? Welcome to another episode of Direct Edition. And today we're just going to be doing a video kind of showing off, you know, a little bit of food. And so we're going to call this one The Hunger Games. So without further ado, you know, let's go ahead and get into the video. You guys ready? All right, let's do this. Be sure to check out some of my latest videos. The latest one is The Ultimate Collector. Another is The Fresh Prince of Comic Books. Also check out No Reservations. And also scroll down a little bit further and check out X Games. You girls and guys be safe out there. Peace. Okay, so one of the places I wanted to show you was a Friday tradition that my kids have. Um, my kids definitely want to, um, every Friday, they like to go to Awful Waffle. Uh, that was named by Chuck Load of Comics, a uh, cool channel. Um, if you get a chance, check them out. Uh, but definitely, we went to the Awful Waffle, so let's check that out. Why would he... Of course, I had to refuel with a public sub. Watching Aliens, the third one. Pretty good. All right. So I definitely had to go to Second and Charles. And um, at Second and Charles, I actually got like a big, big, big haul for my library, uh, which is very cool. So that'll be in some of the upcoming videos. Um, the haul that I got for my actual library, not comic books, but actual um, books, because uh, one of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to actually um, expand my library to the point where my library is going to actually be like a whole room um, because I'm a nerd like that. So um, definitely I had to take a trip to Second and Charles. So let's go to Second and Charles. Now, is that Tumble Charles and Make It Mess? Oops. I can feel it. Is that the wrong Oops, excuse me. Give me a friend. It's a fish. Oh, I found something. I That's it. That's it. Okay, Fred, Fred, don't do that. Come here, Michael. Come here, Fred. Now, this is for my Jamaican side. Uh, this is called the oxtails. And I do have rice and uh, vegetables to go with it. But I only got the white rice and plant and uh, the oxtail, which is a Jamaican cuisine. It's a delicacy. Uh, basically, what I did was I was speaking in my patois voice, but I had to stop and refuel. This is oxtails and this is rice. I have rice and peas upstairs, um, but I just got the white rice to go with the oxtails. And this is very good. It's a Jamaican del delicacy or any West Indian delicacy. Very cool, which is the actual tail of an ox. So I'm trying to load these books up. This is for my boy Reader's Retreat. People that like to read a lot. Let's load them up. Let's get it done. I'm baking. Oh, 
Yes, son. You ready? You want to go. One, Get over here, Michael. Two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. One. Oh, oh, it's too loud. Can you want to go? Oh, oh, it's too loud. One, two, three. Go. No. No. I go baby. Go baby. Go baby. Do you have to go baby? Go baby. Okay. We're going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Took away our power. Come up. Come here, Pop. It's a snow, Daddy. Oh, sorry. It's a snow. So this is a rare behind the scenes footage. I'm actually about to put it together a video. And I'm actually eating sushi. And I'm eating pizza. And I got a little something to drink on. Ready? Yep, I'm ready. Alright, y'all ready? Alright, let's go. This video is called Hunger Games. Okay, so now you know how we do it on Direct Edition. Let's get into um, your regular video. So let's go ahead. Alright, you ready? All right, let's go. Hey, what's up, guys and girls? Welcome to another episode of Direct Edition, uh, the channel is Fred Hall Direct Edition. And I'm just looking at some of the backdrop from my last video, which I absolutely loved uh, shooting, which is um, the Ultimate Collector. So very cool. You know, you have your boy Ultimate Warrior over there. Um, real name is uh, Jim Hellwig. You have the unbeatable Gwenpool number one. The unbeatable Gwenpool number zero. You have some of my favorite female characters in the background. And you also have your main event from your last video, which is the unbeatable Gwenpool 
Marvel Legends, and also the unbeatable Gwenpool Funko Pop. So very cool, man. Definitely, definitely love uh, my female characters in my collection. And uh, yeah. All right, so you know how we do on this channel. First of all, let's change the backdrop. Also, uh, be sure to check out my video, uh, Fresh Prints of Comic Books. And, uh, you know, very cool. All right, so you know how we do on this channel. Let's get a word from our sponsor. And this episode of Direct Edition is brought to you by my fake Darth Maul from China. And I got my babies down here with me, so you're going to hear them probably throughout the video. See? You see? You're going to hear them? Well, let's get into some comics. So your backdrop today is some of my favorite uh, Catwoman comic books I actually own. Uh, besides uh, Batman getting married to her. Uh, but this is uh, Rachel and Terry Dotson. You know, I'm a big fan of them. And this is Catwoman Zero Year number 25. That is Catwoman versus Joker's daughter, Terry Rachel and Terry Dotson. Uh, that is Catwoman number 31 with uh, Rachel and Terry Dotson and Mirror Master. It's an upside down cover, so it's actually cool when you actually take this cover. And it makes more sense when you turn it upside down, which is very cool. So uh, we're just going to keep it like that the rest of the video. And then you have a beautiful, beautiful Adam Hughes cover, Catwoman. Uh, Adam Hughes is like one of my favorite modern artists of all time. And that right, fake Darth Maul from China. Yes, Terry Dotson is one of my... <laughs> Terry Dotson. Uh, Adam Hughes is one of my favorite uh, modern artists of all time. The next one is a beautiful David Fitch cover, which actually started the road to the Batman wedding, which is I Am Bane. Uh, very cool David Fitch Batman cover. And the last cover is Catwoman number 87, the Tequila Showdown. Uh, just threw that in just to keep it Catwoman theme. Uh, I really don't care about that book. Well, I care about all my books. I uh, won't give them away, but actually, you know, it's not one of those books that I actually go uh, eight nuts and giggle like a dolphin all over. Uh, shout out to my boy uh, Leonard Hudson and uh, also Big Pro, Rig Mr. Rigor Mortis when I say that term. Uh, but you know how we do on this channel. Let's get into some comics. So as you know, on my last video, I was able to pick up um, Gwenpool. Uh, that video is called The Ultimate Collector. I uh, definitely love this figure. Very cool figure. Um, let's do it very quickly since you guys saw it in the last video. Here's a cool look at the front of the figure With all the accessories and all that katana Okay, here's a cool look at the front of the figure And here's a cool look at the back of the figure And here's everybody in the way like I said uh, last video uh, Definitely would have bought Mysterio if he was there and I would just been out of forty dollars. I did see that metalhead kind of like Spider Man there. I think he's like Spider Man metal. He comes with like this guitar or something. Uh, he was I saw him there, but really don't care. Um, I think the other one. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I went out of focus. The other one got to be Spider Man Noir right next to him. Yeah, it is Spider Man Noir right next to him. And then you know you got Jessica Drew. Uh, that's when she was pregnant when she was wearing the glasses. You have Mysterio, you have like this newer character that I don't know anything about. Let me see what his name is. If you allow my sexy fingers to interrupt the video, that is Lasher. So you have Gwynpool, Prowler, the, let me see his name, Spider-Man Punk, Spider-Punk, Spider-Man Noir, Jessica Drew, uh, Mysterio, and the Lasher. So this must be like um, the actual... Uh, Spider-Verse way, so very cool. All right, and the reason why I showed you this uh, unbeatable Gwenpool Marvel Legends is not only because it's cool, uh, because I wanted to show you one of the things in the dungeon that I've never showed you before. You ready to take a little tour of the dungeon? All right, let's do it. 
and this is one of my beautiful wall arts. Every wall art is a holy grail for me because I definitely want to pick up the actual comic book. But this is Amazing Spider-Man number 122, um, the death of Gwen Stacy. And uh, if you're wondering what the Green Goblin is saying, he's saying, uh, heads up, wall caller. First of all, I finished off Gwen Stacy, and now it's your turn. And Spider-Man is actually saying, uh, wrong, Goblin, you murdered the only girl I love. And today's the day you're going to die. And it says Green Goblin's Last Stand. So this is a very cool wall art that I've always had down here in the dungeon. I just never got around to showing you guys, you know, this. Um, check out my video, The Tales from the Dungeon. We'll actually give you a little tour of the dungeon. So with that being said, let's get into some comics. So when I say let's get into some comics, um, let's actually look at some more footage from Second and Charles, the actual uh, comic books that I was searching through. And uh, we'll see the results of my search in the upcoming uh, videos. So let's go and do that. So who doesn't like, uh, you know, late night kicking it? Uh, I was kicking it late night with the kids and uh, the wife. And um, this is what we were doing late night. Or what I was doing late night for them. Um, I was chefing in the kitchen. So let's take a look at that. Quite a going over. Listen, I gotta go. Watch your old school Ninja Turtles. Guys. I gotta check my mail. Get girl up. And also I had to refuel. Some good old southern fried chicken. Georgia boy, Florida boy. Very cool. And so, once again, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Direct Edition, the Channel's Fred Hall Direct Edition. Um, you girls and guys be safe out there. I actually mailed out some stuff in the mail. Uh, again, so we're wrapping up everybody. Um, I still need a couple of you guys uh, info so I can send it. Send your stuff out. Um, you know, send me your stuff so you can get this free stuff in the mail. Uh, but that being said, you know, remember words of wisdom. Um, focus on the ones that show you love and on the ones that don't show you love. Hey, we're just going to keep on rolling without them. You girls and guys be safe out there and I will catch you peoples Later. Peace. You still here? Oh, well, since you're still here, I just want to tell you, just stay encouraged. Uh, keep pushing out videos. You guys' channels rock. Don't worry about no subs and stuff like that. That means that's little. Uh, just spread some love and Show some love. You never know what other people are going through. You know, some people actually are uh, hiding some pain behind their smiles. So, and then, you know, some people are dealing with health issues. But we're going to, um, you know, stay positive, pray for them, and y'all be safe. Now get out of here. Peace.